Well, what's up, everyone? How are you doing today? It's 3DO Thursdays. Take care. No, I'm kidding. But <laughs> we have a special one today. We are about to talk about Rise of the Robots. That's right, Rise of the Robots for 3DO. This game was, it was, first of all, it was released on multiple platforms. It was getting rave reviews in game magazines like EGM and, and uh, I was going to say Nintendo Power. Probably Nintendo Power because it was actually on a Super Nintendo. Um, I believe it was on Sega Genesis. It was on computers, PC, uh, and then a version to the 3DO, which was supposed to be the most promising with the 32-bit CD technology with uh, Brian May from Queen performing anthems and songs just for this el for just for this uh, game a soundtrack well they they posted this they posted pictures of the graphics showing this is the most advanced fighting game ever the most advanced graphics the most advanced movement and uh, technology in in uh, what do they call silicon graphics technology um, this was the, the the biggest hyped game of the year Constantly, every issue of a magazine. Oh, they need more time. They're taking more time. They're 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 trying to make this. The they're tweaking even to make it even better now. But we've got to play this game, of course, on 3DO Thursdays. But I'm gonna need some help, and who better than Panda Sub 2000 to join me in critiquing and checking out this game for the first time ever. This is the first time I've ever been introduced to it. This is Rise of the Robots on 3DO Thursday. Let's go to them two, talking. Whew. All right. <laughs> Rise of the Robots, big show here. So. <laughs> well, hello, everyone. We are here, I guess. It's 3DO Thursdays. Why wouldn't we be here? But look who's next to me. Right, not behind me. I don't know how to point. This guy right here, Panda exactly. Sub 2000. Thank Look you for having that. me. Such well, a pleasure. Right. Can I just stop you? Can I just interrupt you for just one second before yeah, you say Yeah, anything? yeah, yeah. Okay. Because as you know, uh -huh. I am the leading 3DO go-to guru yeah. of all of YouTube. You are aware that of that, That is very right? true. Very true. And I oh, thought I know that. a good way, because it's my third time being here. Then yeah. I show you one of my third. I showed you two other games you, before. I've seen two so far, yeah. I want to show you a third 3DO title. This one. Wow. Very rare. I can't. Well, Night live Trap tonight. For what? 3DO. Yeah. You Let have Night Trap. That's the complete Night long Trap. box? The complete long box. Wow. Got, look at that. Eh? Everything. There's Dana, Dana Plato on the front there. Yes. Yes. So... I thought, you know, you might wow. enjoy that for your 3DO Thursday. I, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't the viewers want to see that? It's, this is the third game you showed off. So you I got... Know. Quite a collection. I mean, you have, I was going to say, you must have quite the collection. I'm not going to ask. I, just, I want it to be a surprise the next time, all right? Don't ask and don't have, show, make me show any evidence. I appreciate it. Right. Yeah. Now, so today we're doing Rise of the Robots. Now... Um, I'm excited so th for this one. Because this fighting game was a, like multi-platform. It was on PC. It was on uh, was it the Amiga? It was on as well. Oh, it sure. was on Super Nintendo. Gen I mean everything. Yeah, this was on every single thing. I mean, this was if you remember the game magazines like Nintendo Power and uh, IGN and all of them. They used to uh, they used to, or EGM Electric Gaming Month or like whatever it was. EGM, yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, they used to used. To, I mean, I remember just seeing screenshots of this and how beautiful the graphics looked, and and how I mean, look at they even show them on the back. You're just like, Silicon, oh my god! Silicon graphics was like the yeah. big buzzword back in the day. Yeah, and this was. I it was plastered everywhere. People were talking about it at school. They were talking about it in yeah. the magazines. They were talking about it everywhere. It was a very big, big title. I am I am super excited to check this out. I mean, even reading the back of this box, it says, "It says now listen to this, fellas and ladies." Uh, Techno nightmare. Wow, Whoa. sounds really cool so far. So far, you've got rise, <laughs> rise of the robots. Something has gone dr dangerously awry at Electrocorp's massive robotics production plant. Electrocorp's. 
Electro Corps. Okay. So they were they were really out, outside the so, box thinking Electro Corps. Yeah. Massive robotics production plant infected by an ego virus, an EGO, ego that virus. Damn, that is damn viruses. They ruin everything. Or an E60 virus. I can't tell because everything looks like robotic words. The powerful supervisor droid has taken over and is constructing. Isn't droid trademarked by uh, Lucasfilm? Were they all allowed to say that? Uh, I understand I have... Android, but droid. Mm, uh, this is oh, a you know lawsuit what? waiting to happen. You know what, though? Let's just get with, with knowing that this is going to be one of the most re revolutionary fighting games of all times. I'm just going to let it pass. I just want to get to the gameplay personally. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, so do I. Uh, Supervisor has taken over, and this is construct and, and is constructing an army of robot minions. So he is oh creating minions, robot minions, um, to unleash upon mankind. Not the wrestler, folks. That's Mick Foley. As an experimental cyborg, half human, half machine, it's up to you. It's up okay. to you. Whoa. That's a lot of that's a lot <laughs> of uh, responsibility to infiltrate, to infiltrate the plant. And put not a, like a house plant, like an actual like a plant where these robots are made. Mm -hmm. Put an end to the supervisor's bid for world conquest. So this supervisor robot is just creating an army of these killer machines. Probably, I'm gonna guess highly advanced, highly intelligent, able able to just take dismember you from. I mean, I, I'm just I don't even know where else to think. And it tells us about the game outrageous. 3D visual contouring creates a highly detailed, ultra-realistic characters unlike you've never seen before, oh, ever. Wow. I added the extra ever. I was just trying to you – know, I, I get getting excited about it. Oh, it's here infectious. we go. It, oh, this is infectious. Incredibly fluid hand-to-hand <laughs> -hand video combat action – video combat action – Whoa. That will define the future of fighting games. <laughs> That's a pretty bold <laughs> statement. It's a very bold statement. I mean, you figure right around this time is like the height of Mortal Kombat and everything. Oh. I mean, for this game, it's coming out swinging. And you were talking about Killer Instinct actually was out yes. at this point, right? Which was destroying it. I well, mean, destroying I it on the, on the fighting out. circuit. Yeah, I don't know which came out for. We'll talk more about that later, but it's right yeah. around the, right around the same time of 94, 95. It also ends with this. Transitional cinematics feature stunning stunning cinematics with full motion animation unlike anything you've ever Can't seen in a cinematic. Wow. Uh, so, I I whew, That is uh, I've never been more hyped. I, I've also we won't be able to play these parts, and they might be censored out once once I edit this. But includes music from Br Brian May of Queen. Wow, just as relevant as it was in 1994. Right. Wow. I, mean, I can tell you. I mean, if you want to know just how good Rise of Robots is, how often does that title come up when you're talking about Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat? Oh, every say, day. <laughs> right? I mean, like, it's, it's, you say Street Fighter, you think Rise of the Robots. You say Mortal Kombat, I'm already thinking. I, You're I like, heard Mortal you Robots. You mean the best one? Head. Yeah. <laughs> Mortal just, Robots. I mean, both. Right? So I, I want to know uh, the end of this story. I, I want to, <laughs> we do know the end of this story. I can't read here. Oh, man, all these special thanks. I also like the extra special thanks. To the unrivaled Mr. May for doing everything we asked of him and a whole lot more. So I, I, I don't know what else Brian May did <laughs> besides providing, obviously, an amazing soundtrack. Uh, I, I just don't even, I, I don't even know where to go with this. Uh, apparently, the, the company... Catering. He did catering for them as well. Yeah, yeah <laughs> probably... And then obsolete is what the company. I mean, I'm sorry. The company is called Absolute. Ah. Absolute. Sorry, I stumbled on that. I didn't mean to. So, um, I like I am. 
Okay, I have never been like privy to this or like I, I heard it like you said it's on Super Nintendo, it's on the Sega, it's on uh, you name it, PC collection, but they the 3DO is a 32-bit console at the time and you're just like, "Wow, I I cannot wait to see how could they one of the most state of the art the power of this game could they could cram it yeah. into just Onto our just, home consoles, it was an amazing. Oh, I it like I from what I from what I'm hearing, this is this is like some technology that only be available like an arcade machine back in the '90s. Like you could how or or like a high end gaming PC, so powerful that you, I don't know how I could they could fit it onto a 3DO. And and the may I say this too, as my dongle has fallen, I always hate when I lose my dongle. Don't we, don't we all? Don't we all? Okay. <laughs> there it is. So, besides my dongle falling, my jaw is hitting the ground because of how great these graphics uh, look so far on the back of the bu- uh, the. I mean, look at the cinematic on this. I never even – is that like a lady robot, like, destroying, like, maybe something that came into the co- – I cannot, I cannot wait to see how highly tech, technically advanced that these things are. And, it's, um, like, it's like Terminator 2, just 10,000 times better. Uh, I, 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 you know what? I think now is the time we need to get into it. We need to talk about – we've talked about Rise of the Robots. Now it's time to, me. to experience everything in all of its glory – Rise of the Robots. robots. Let's do this. Uh, Let's see. I am going to, okay. We're going (laughs) to, I'm going to come out and come back in with these. All right. Here we are. We have started up on the good old fashioned Panasonic 3D. Oh my God, are we in space? The darkness of space? This, I'm so excited to even see the first graphic of this. If we hear Brian May, we're automatically going to have to go silent because it's not. I'm going to have to. Whoa. Okay. I got. I thought that was a robot. Oh, man. (laughs) Oh, this is crazy. This is just crazy. Oh, my goodness. This is like Rise of the Excitement, if you ask me. I am. (laughs) I'll tell you what. I'm excited. Me, too. That's why I'm just being shown from. Oh, here we go. Mirage. Wait, they sound familiar. Oh yeah! Oh, I bet they're, they're super lie. excited to be uh, associated with Rise of the Robots. Whoa! Whoa! So A for English, B for Brian May. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> Let's go, Brian May, all the way. Oh, uh, I can't. Well, I can't do that. Isn't so. that the Sierra logo? That was a whoa! whoa. Oh, did it freeze? Oh. Okay, so we got this. Well, this is no Brian May. City. That those don't look too state of the art. I mean, I've seen better graphics than Sega Genesis. Okay, you know what though? It's an opening cinematic. It's just it's yeah, they're showing a city. That. We can't judge. You can't judge that. They must have put it all in the gameplay. I would agree. All right. So there's it. Okay, just is it come frozen? to an abrupt Wait. halt? Just an abrupt halt with a giant flame up. Okay, and it's. Stopped and there's oh, <clears throat> oh, good. must have been a glitch. They must have overlooked at it. Can't wish I had some glow sticks. I'll tell you what. Whoa, how does it? It like landed like a like a firefly, like a fish fly. And wow, Brian May, eat your heart out. This techno is killing me. That's not grainy at all how they paused that. That was, oh, okay. What's happening uh, here? It was a cinematic choice to just hold oh. really long in that shot. So far, I'm enjoying the machines we're seeing, the robots. I don't, yeah, I don't, get, I don't get, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Look, wait, okay, that doesn't look very fluent and. <laughs> very fluent. What the, <laughs> whoa. This he, he is. He needed uh, to make a beeline to check his email. He is on the computer <laughs> checking his AOL. <laughs> Even though, yeah, I was going to say maybe AOL <laughs> online chat. 
Oh, man. I didn't even know. So is know. this set up that he's playing Rise of the Robot the game? <laughs> I guess so. It's very meta. Like, he yeah. is at the controls. The robot is playing the game. The robot game. So okay, I want. Got it. Okay, I want. Do we want. <laughs> that would be great okay. to do it in, fr- in French. Uh, so I'm going to do it easy because, uh, you know me, I guess 60. Cinematic's definitely on. Definitely on. Best of three. Okay, apparently you just can't get out of it. So then I guess I hit the stop button. Deutsch. Oh, there we go. Deutsch. So one player. This this next part might be Brian May related. So I this might be uh, bleeped out or censored or. So I apologize. But we oh we're going to mission. Do we don't need any trick? Maybe we should go to some training. I think we should, you know, because we are fighting lethal fighting robots. Yeah, so training it is. Know, Whoa, yeah. what is that? State is of that the art Bumble? technology. That is Bumblebee, I think. Uh, I don't, I don't know what that is, to be honest. Whoa. Uh, he seems to be just wiping his hands. Some of them I, look uh, like kitchen utensils. I can't really tell what I'm looking at. But, I mean, surely when we play the game, the graphics will be – that's where they – Oh, play yeah, this is it. not – yeah. Let's, this doesn't count. I mean, this doesn't count. Yeah, this is this is obviously just showing you maybe, maybe like, like a, a – brag. Like a simple – whoa. Those are not the fantastic cinematics that I was thinking of, but what is – Whoa. I don't know what's happening here. He's doing a little oh, so bit gonna, of Oh, and he's burning up! Oh, he's dead. Hey, look at this. He's got butt boosters. All right, man. This is If that's what I am controlling, I tell you what, this is going to be a great game. Oh, so far, the, 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 story, pause. the story is someone in it, the robot in a jet plane flew to check his email <laughs> and ran away and turned into a different robot. Yeah. That's uh, the story thus far. Threat high. Okay. I don't. So, wait. What's is this happening? Our, is this our robot? Uh, I'm selection? fighting a security droid. I thought this was supposed to be minions that he created to unleash on mankind. I'm fighting a security droid. That one, okay. There's, okay, there's going to be an awesome score here. Here we go, Brian May. Well, Which one are you? Are you blue or red? I'm blue. Oh, I'm okay, blue this obviously diamond. isn't the game. This has got to be just the training. All right, so, I mean, I can't say that I'm blown away by the... I mean... What I'm seeing. There's no music. I don't. Okay. Obviously, this is training. It's not the I real game. I bet you game. round two is a different story. I bet you that's where they really. Put yeah, that's this. All right. So then. So I can just punch and drop kick. So that's all my all my moves. <laughs> well, it is Rise of the Robots. I mean, this is the most elite death machines there are. You know. yeah, but he said it was a security droid that we had low intelligence. I thought these were all highly intelligent, and they were about to be unleashed on mankind. Not Mick Foley. So you guys are basically just jump kicking each other the whole time. Is so there like just, any special moves or anything? Or? That's I don't. Doesn't seem to be. I, mean, I think any. special moves are kind of overrated. I don't. Yeah, like maybe them. they just want. They want the. It's just the. I want just the bare bones. Food. The bare bones. Just the, the good old meat and potatoes. I like how they even said, "You know what? No music. Let's forget the music." <laughs> this is one of the best. But hopefully, there's a composer oh, that's credited. Ah, oh, oh, what is that? Wait, was there a human inside the robot? <laughs> there was an eye. There was. Yeah. Okay, I, okay, cool? you know, let, we're gonna Render just go on the tree. mission. This is it. This is it. Well, I guess we're gonna get some stunning cutscenes. Ooh, he's running to get to the circle platform. He does. Oh, and we're, just, we're gonna disintegrate again. <laughs> Put his arms out. And then he, then he disintegrates himself. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, that, <laughs> that makes all the sense the in the world. <laughs> oh, well, what the heck? He so is way here. going faster than his steps are. That is, okay, This they obviously did not finish this cinematic right here. This is unfinished. It somehow got in the game. You know what, though? It's for one of the greatest games of all time. We're gonna, whoa! Oh, my goodness. It's a sewing machine. That it's a, it looks like a high-low, like a box-loading thing. It looks better than with the cinematic we just saw. Ooh, what all right, all okay. That character. Yeah, uh, looks like we won't be playing as that character as you could only be the other robots. <laughs> well, let's see this. This is going to be one of the minions we were talking about. A loader, intelligence low, power rating low, combat poor, strengths it builds, weak points, speed limited, tactical, and threat is minimum. What? Why are we fighting a high-low? We're fighting a high-low. But I thought this was Rise of the, like the Elite. Why are we playing Rise of the I Elite? I know. This is – we're, we're – oh, it's even smaller than I thought. All right, so – Prepare for prepare combat. For this combat. soundtrack – So – Okay. Okay, I'm just you know, why don't you describe how it feels? I mean, it's it must be, feel cooler than than what we're seeing, right? I want to say it feels like if I was blindfolded in a dark closet holding a crushed soda can and smashing my head against the wall is how I can feel like how I'm contributing to the controls in this game. Is it weird that that's exactly how I would have described it if you asked what it looks like from yeah. an outside perspective? <laughs> oh, it feels exactly it looks like super clunky. But okay, here's bout number two. I feel bad. Am I the bad guy? Am I just killing these poor robots that didn't do anything? They didn't do anything. He's like, I'm a loader. He's just trying to defend himself. And I just keep doing the same punch or drop kick because it's the only move I have. And there you to go. Be I just clear, keep... can you be any other character or do you have to be this blue machine? I believe you could got to be this blue machine. And I, and maybe two player might be different. We could check. Oh, my oh it's God, cinematic. You, you destroyed him. I feel really bad. Like he was doing nothing but loading boxes. So where are these minions at? That these This uprising. Where is this? All right, you know, I'm sure it's the next... Whoa! He is running way too fast for the, the, the steps he's taken. They must have... Always in a rush. It. Why do... You, okay, he just stopped in front of the ramp and looked at everyone. I, whoa! Whoa. It's a, it's a gorilla robot. He's like the most like he has like a walker. <laughs> his, his legs look very... Like they couldn't hold much... Support like I don't. Yeah, he's almost maybe a little handicapped or something. Yeah. Oh I hope man. You don't beat up the handicap machine. Oh come on! Is this no, also I don't... gonna. Is this also gonna tell you what? Oh, an he's a builder. Is? He's... Yeah. Intelligence low. Low. Power rating high. Average combat. Powerful arms. Weak points. His legs. Clearly. Oh my god. Limited tactical abilities. Threat is at a low minimum. <laughs> Why am I fighting these workers? All they're trying to do is he's a builder. The other way, he's probably he's building his family. Yeah. Prepare for co it doesn't even know that I'm coming for combat. Look, it's just cowering. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. I'm just dropping legs, kicks, on, legs and drop kicks and punches. The only two things you can do in this game. Like he's just cowering. While you're doing it, I have got to look up to see if there's any power moves. Hold on. There has got to be. There's got to be something. I mean, I don't think I need him, though. I mean, I'm doing pretty well. I must say the sound effects sound like something I would have made with my mouth at five, year old, five years old. Down, up, and F1. Or fire one. That know will be a, do is. a turbo headbutt, and if you do away towards and F one, that'll be a shoulder barge, and that. I don't know. I don't be, know what an F one is because it's I think just fire, has three buttons. Fire it's got one. Three buttons. <laughs> so I guess like an A. 
and that away towards and a shoulder barge and that's it there are two special moves the end yeah he just jumps and does drop kicks he does that did not work oh now he's getting mad so now i'm going to make him cower he's thinking about his family like he's he's like am i going to get to see my family nope <laughs> nope no <laughs> Wow, You're just this a murdering is... tyrant. <laughs> I know. I was supposed to come here to find the supervisor. Look at him. Oh. Now he's a robot, doesn't have a heart, so why did he put his hand over his chest when he was collapsing? I mean, that's more of a human thing. You'd think he would just be laid out and be like, God, this is it. I'm done. I'm just looking forward to the Whoa. next one. Whoa. What's with Ed 209 Velociraptor? <laughs> okay, now this has got to be one of the ones that this guy built. This is the rise right here, right? This is... I kind of just... But I, that said, I do miss our running. Why weren't we running? Yeah, we should have ran to something. Okay. Okay, intelligence. Oh, he's a crusher. Low, right? Oh, he's a dismantling robot. Ooh, intelligence His, medium. Weak points, his head and his limbs. His weak limbs. So that was the giveaway is that he has weak limbs. It's called weak oh. limbs. Oh, okay. Well, sounds like he's not much of a threat. He's just another worker robot. Like, where are these elite robots? <coughs> well, I say your strategy should be to jump kick him. I think I'm going to do punching and jump kicking. All right. Well, you're. Oh, it seems to be bleeding parts. <clears throat> yeah, I think he's just trying to defend himself because for some reason I'm trying to beat him up. <laughs> Try to do away so back forward and then uh, one of the, you know, one of the buttons. Yeah, but it just does a jump kick. <laughs> <laughs> well, this I is mean, terrible. If you had to compare well, it to Mortal I, Kombat I just... 2, what would you think? Oh, on? this is um, this is like playing. Um, I I don't even it, it, it the clunkiness like I don't like even the pieces that fall off could at least stay on the ground like they just disintegrate into thin air. I don't know what's happening. Like, there's no background music. There's no... This is Sorry. just some of the... It's okay. Hey, that was better sounding than some of the soundtrack, <laughs> which there is none. It's null and void here. Well, I got to tell you, I mean... You know, oh, being how I'm a spectator. Yeah. You know, similar to the people who are watching this, I got to tell you, this game looks like everything that the magazines hyped to be. Oh, here we go. Quadruple time running with two. He's taken three steps and he's at the end of the thing already. So, all right. These so. incredible cinematics with him just what? running and then. Another high low? Looks like it. So I'm I'm fighting another high low. Wow, it it got extremely loud for some reason. Okay, whoa, stop. That's okay. I'll give this. I'll say that is the best cinematic of the whole game. I don't know. Right. So far, I think we are by everything. Oh, right. we already know him because we fought him already. So. Are we just going on to the loading docks, just beating up loading robots? Like, I don't get yes. this. Like, I thought we were supposed to take care of this uprising. I, I prepare <laughs> the, for the, this poor thing it again. It's so He's, silent. The game is so silent. You just hear those little weird is. fact sounds. And then it's just, you don't even hear grunts. It's just this empty, oh, yeah. hollow... There is zero sound effects, or if, all you guys is, is the same. Burp, burp, burp. Oh, did he learn? Whoa, he got me! Wow, listen to that music. <laughs> 
Brian May, you did way. You went above and beyond. I'm trying to look up some reviews at the time. I'm seeing. Wow, I got star. him with like four. That made zero say you've seen one star. What are some yeah. of the reviews saying? Okay, so <laughs> unsurprisingly, the music and sound got a one out of ten. Uh, <laughs> because there's only, as a quote, there are five sounds maximum. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, this is so awful. <laughs> oh, that was, uh, so you got to find some more reviews. This is yeah, great. Take a look. <laughs> well, I beat up another high low and feel really bad about it. <laughs> okay. The I can only was, guess the gorilla. <laughs> the Go game ahead. was abysmal. And not only that, it came on 13 floppy disks, which had to be swapped every time you fought a different character. <laughs> that was on the computer version? I guess so. Oh, wait, wait. oh it's Mr. Gorilla again. Yeah, we don't need to analyze. We already know he's got and a wife at home. And they were that the hype, because we were talking earlier about the hype, right? Yeah. The hype was so big at the time. They were talking about tie-in comics, toys, a novel, and even a movie. Um, and <laughs> Brian Mason Queen was going to do the soundtrack. Oh, wow. Oh, once again, he's just huddling. Just so doesn't want to be part of this battle. He just... This is, this is the most epic fighting game I've ever... And I haven't played Shadow yet, which I heard is really bad, too. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, he like he's just trying... He's like, can you please just leave me alone? He's like, this is the second time you've done this. Okay, I just got to kick him one more time. There we go. Oh, man. Uh, I, I think I'm the bad guy in this one. I think I think here's a great quote. It wasn't so bad it was funny. It was just depressing. <laughs> who what what uh who said that? I'm just reading an article, I believe, from K Kotaku. <laughs> oh, well um <laughs> Wow. Ugh. All right, well, enough of that. I just wanted to get an idea of the history. I mean, basically, the history is everything we were saying, that there was this amazing hype about it. And there yeah. was. They were, they were talking about all these tie-ins and things like that, how this was going to be the next revolution in graphics and in the fighting games, forgetting that this is also the era of Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter. Um, and but there's zero moves. I don't get it. There's, like, no right. moves. And you said there's two, but... So what I what saw. But, that, like, but the, the thing I would say is, and I don't know historically if this is accurate, but yeah, I would almost say that Killer Instinct may have stolen the thunder from this game because... Well, I would game, hope so. That game I'm also had some this thing graphics. Again. Really amazing 3D graphics at the time. But it was also a really good game, and it introduced a kind of more combo focus kind of a uh, fighting game. It had its own gimmick with the combos. Ultra, ultra, you know, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know if you've ever played Killer Instinct. I'll take don't that be over, Don't be talking over the music here. <laughs> so we've basically played three... The, of the same characters yeah, in a row. three different characters. And we're, our story is progressing basically with just different backgrounds. Um, and that's it. That's. Oh, I didn't even notice the back. The backgrounds were so bland. I didn't even think we were in different places. <laughs> so he's just basically going around beating up warehouse robots. Warehouse. Yeah. Machines. So you might like, you might battle like a forklift soon. Yeah, well, that's a, that was the first thing. The yellow guy was a forklift. He was a loader. 
This Velociraptor is a is a dismantler robot, so it's probably. Oh, oh I guess he's dead. I didn't know that 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 oh, animation man. meant that. Prepare for combat. Wow, I'm. <laughs> if this game doesn't get you hyped up right before a fight, you don't want to say words like fight or prepare. You just. <laughs> did it, did it, did it. Dot matrix printer sounds is what gets me going. That's what gets me going all the way. Did you ever play Killer Instinct? Oh, God, in the arcade a few times, but I was never big on it, so I'd have to revisit it, to be honest. Well, I mean, like, that game got so many things, in my opinion, right. Um, the, the, the characters were cool-looking. They all had yeah. different, you know, and, like, full gore, which was kind of that big robot-looking thing. Like, you look at full gore compared to cyborg here, the blue the models don't even compare so <clears throat> i wonder if killer instinct may have stolen some of its thunder um because they were going i don't think the there is much thing. thunder left to steal i think this thing was whoa oh here he is another running cinematic <laughs> wow beat it's up that another awful. innocent robot <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Oh. Finally, someone knew. Was it Starscream? Who is this? <laughs> wow. It's a alien looking robot. I don't know. Well, okay. Well, it's this. This looks more like I had to go through six characters before I got to this. Intelligence high, good at combat. Intelligence, uh, Weak points is a weak frame. Dangerous is his threat. All right. <coughs> I am ready to be dangerous, to beat dangerous. What's that breathing? I think that's that just breathing? the back. I think that's the background. <laughs> Or it's me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, whoa. He, this guy this guy is like level of a – he was like super hard compared to the three I just – or the six I just fought. Military wins. His name is Military. Wow. <laughs> the amount of – the imagination of the programmers and designers here is just <laughs> – I'm surprised he wasn't called like Silverbot. <laughs> what if his name was Rise? <laughs> no! All right. He is like harder than anything. <laughs> like, I can't even get like three hits. Well, I mean, obviously I did, but now what happens? Bless you. How, how much would you say. Ah! Ah! Oh, that's terrifying! I am a, per a real person yeah, in that. <laughs> Why? And I thought I was a robot. And you just had a stroke. Um, <laughs> Apparently. Oh, okay. I'm going to continue because uh, Gorilla Bot says, "Whoa!" Okay, I, I got to pass this. I can't watch him run again. Uh. How much fun are you having with this game? I'm curious. Oh, I want to say on a scale of zero to a hundred, negative four is the <laughs> okay. fun that I'm having. Like, if you had to, it, like, it's somewhere between like getting a colonoscopy and doing filing for your taxes. I'd probably rather do filing for my taxes than okay. uh, than. Um, I don't, I don't know what he's doing. Block? I don't even know. There's like, okay, hold on. I'm, I'm going to have to, let's, let's do a pause here. I love the pause feature, by the way. <laughs> Dot matrix printer. All right. I'm going to pull out the good old instruction manual. Oh my, oh my God. This manual reads like a friggin' dictionary. Oh, here's the controller. Are you here? That breathing is really creepy. Are you hearing that? I 
I guess you're not hearing it, but there. Not anymore. This level is heavy breathing. <laughs> oh, you're right. This is the best attacks, Turbo. <laughs> Is Turbo really headbutt. So, okay, well, Lisa says the right way here. It says, Turbo headbutt is down up, and then you use button A, B, or C. Right, left, A, B, or C is so shoulder slam. Down okay. up. Down up or right, left. Like, that's, 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 the, that's the two the moves. moves. That's it. Let's try it again. Does it tell you that you can play the other machines, or are you really just the blue guy? Uh, in this, you're just the blue guy. So that instruction booklet doesn't have the move set for any of the other characters. It does, but it's on oh, two-player mode. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's. Whoa, he got me, but I got him too. So how did, if we're both at zero power, why did he win? So many questions and so little time with the rise of the robots. Well, you are taking on the entire military. Yeah, apparently this is the full, the full arsenal. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do the special moves. They do not work at all. There's like zero. <laughs> I have not pulled off anything, and they're simple. They're simple moves. Got him. Well, you did it. Got him. Got him. Oh, cool, boy! That. There's like an egg behind us. There's heavy breathing. We're on some sort of glass floor. I'd say maybe I am functions. pulling them off, but, but maybe I am pulling off the moves, but you can't tell because there's just no animation for it. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. I wonder what the final result is. Thanks, Dot Matrix Printer. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try one more time beating this. Mi oh, no, oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't no. like this. No! <laughs> oh, why? That is pretty why? hard. Why? Oh. You know, I think, uh, okay, yeah, I'll try one more time. I am kind of confused by this M. Night Street, like, surprise tool. Whoa. We are not a mission for a person. Oh, no, no! Oh, I forgot to continue! Don't worry, you're going to fight the same machines anyway. Ah, I'm done. I'm done with this game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you try and oh, explain it to people what, the, what it's like, what the game is, you know, feels <laughs> like, what it's like. <clears throat> oh, man, whoa! <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> um, I tell you what, this... Whew. This is a doozy here. This uh, this is zero accurate on the back. By the way, some of these cinematics are never shown. Um, or at least that we got to. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and you know what? I'm not looking to try to get any farther either. <laughs> the story is just unbelievable. He runs and beats up dock worker robots. Like, that is what it should have said. This is what the back should have said. Instead of saying, hold on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change all bully their points. Innocent, bully innocent workers. It's <laughs> so, first it's thing says, outrageous. Uh, let me read these things again, because you're going you're gonna to think this is great. After seeing that, outrageous 3D visual contouring creates highly detailed ultra-realistic characters unlike you've ever seen. Ever. That should be changed to the most basic design barely in 3D and the worst cinematics you've <laughs> ever seen in a running animation. I would say the Intellivision <laughs> Running Man has more realistic, and for real, has real <laughs> running motion more than the Rise of the Robots. And then it says incredibly fluid hand-to-hand -hand video combat action. I don't know why they put video in there. That will define the future of fighting games. Can I just no. say something real quick? Uh, Let's just put some things historically into perspective. 
Okay, okay. This is 1994. Donkey Kong Country on the Super Nintendo, not even a 3D. Oh. Those graphics were incredible. Yeah. Beautiful art design. The art direction was beautiful. The great colors. I agree. Great character models. Uh, an amazing game. Um, yeah. So they just said that unlike anything you've ever seen before, but I would say a Super Nintendo game has beaten a CD-ROM game, or in the case of 13 floppy disks. Um, <laughs> uh, but, I mean, like, so I think this game, and again, I'm not, I'm not speaking from any historical accurate place here, but I think yeah, yeah. was that this game looked incredible in magazines and things like that before we got to see Donkey Kong Country, Killer Instinct, games like that, which yeah. dominated once they came out. Uh, or rather, definitely Donkey Kong Country. Killer Instinct was a moderate hit. Um, I mean, most 16-bit games, even on the Genesis, like fighting games, and, and it's, heck, Clay Fighter was a better <clears throat> fighting game than this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, think about that. Like, that was a beautiful game compared to Rise of the Robots. Well, it had everything wrong. Like, you figure, right? Like, the, the, the character designs for the most part, were pretty dull. Like, the main character is decent looking, but the other characters were very dull. Um, and, and again, when you compare it to a Killer Instinct, which used the same technology, as the Silicon Graphics, um, you had Fulgor, you had the Boxer, you had Glace, Glacius, I believe his name was, the, uh, the, the Native American character, the the hot chick that could turn into an electric panther and stuff. Like there was amazing character design there and it was a good game and it had a great combo system and it had fatalities and all those things. And then here you just have jump kicks and a sh a, <laughs> maybe a shoulder smash. Which I, we have yeah, there, I tried. It's, it's back forward. I think I, I played met lots of Mortal Kombat in my day. I know how to do a back forward or an up, down, and a button. Like, that yeah. was literally what it was. I did all of those. I did not do a single move during all, uh, uh, like, eight of my battles or whatever I had right. going on there. It was – that was the worst. Um, Have you ever played I, Pit I, Fighter? I, I, okay, that's pretty bad. Yeah, I'm the curious, arcade, like, how it compares. Oh, Pit Fighter is the most amazing game you've ever played in your life compared to Rise of the Robots. Okay. Okay. Now, mind you, I did play Pit Fighter in the arcade when it came out. The arcade version is the only good version. There's yes. not a single version. There's not a single version ported that was good. Yeah, I would agree Pit, with that. Of Pit yeah. Fighter. Uh, arcade, not bad for the time. Mm -hmm. uh, but, the like, all home ports were just garbage. Absolute garbage. Mm -hmm. And um, that was another, that was like one of the, I think that was one of the first, wasn't that one of the first uh, like before World Combat? Actor. Digitization of yeah. like a, an actor, yeah. But. Probably. I, I mean, I, I would think, and, and you know, like, as far as using that kind of technology, like Rage, I think it was called Rage, where they had the, uh, you know, stop motion, like, gorilla and the dinosaur. I think it was called Rage. Oh, pri right? Primal Rage. Primal yeah, Rage, yeah. We may have to visit that sometime. Whoa! Oh, is that for the 3DO? Whoa! Yeah. Except and I don't do you, have the game in there. I got a collecting like the game. Can you see what year that was? Was that like 92, 93? 94. 95. So, old, okay. <laughs> they all are coming out at this time. <laughs> you had games like Primal Rage. Now, this game, this Primal Rage here for 3DO is pretty close to the arcade. I would say it's mm. really hard. I think maybe the sprites are a tiny bit smaller and not, but other than yeah. that, this plays like the arcade. This here, same dates, 94, 95 <laughs> copyrights. Yeah. Like, did, was this a joke? Like, I want to know, was this a joke played on people just to go, you know what, we're going to make this, <laughs> we're going to do this, but we're going to say it's the best thing ever. Once we get paid, we're just going to deliver them this game. And I want to know, they said they were going to maybe make a movie and comic book time. <laughs> the story that we've got is a blue robot man checks his email, <laughs> runs down a corridor, and then beats up a poor worker bot. That's what we have. Six worker bots. <laughs> twice. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then, he's and then, uh, okay. he's just a bully. Yeah, and I mean, then we find out later he's a person. He's just a person yeah, in a, a person robot the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, man, I don't, I don't understand why games like this got made. How it happened? I, I don't like. I feel they're... like they ran out of money and just went. You know what? Right. This, I, that's what it feels like. I feel like they were making this game. And it was either like a, a deadline restriction. And this could have been, because I think it had potential of the story that's on the back of the box as opposed to what we think we saw. The cinematics don't even look finished. I'm sorry. Once again, we're talking about times Mortal Kombat and Primal Rage, Killer Instinct. All these are out. And you can I'm like, getting all angry. No. But like, Jurassic you, like, Park. We, Came out. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're looking at where technology was starting to actually go, and like even reboot the cartoon series reboot. Do you remember that one? The I 3D know the animated. name. I know the name. I've never Some really of your got viewers it. Viewers will know what I'm talking about. And it was very. It was a 3D, one of the first 3D animated shows that I'm aware of. Okay. And those graphics rivaled this one as well. My point is obviously some of these media companies are going to have more money than a game company. That said. <clears throat> If you look at what was around during that time, this was grossly uh, outmatched by everything around it, which is strange because it was hyped as one of the, 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 the almost like the pioneers of bringing in a new era. I think what happened, dude, I think it was one of those odd um, coincidences. Well, when this thing was coming out, so many of these other games were coming out too. And I think once they saw what was coming out, I think they just gave up. It's I, I just I like I feel like it's unfinished. I I think it is. You say grossly. I say it's just gross. I say it's a gross game. It's awful. It's it's nothing. I I would collect it to collect it for it. I'm over here. I I, I would collect it just to collect it for this. But that's it. Like I will never put this into any game system ever again. And. <laughs> I don't think I'm being harsh. I think they know that. <laughs> I think mm-hmm. I don't think there's a single good inter. Now the one thing, but like I said, there might be another side to this story. It might be like, dude, we got screwed over for money. They didn't want to give us any more money. We said this is what we need to make it look beautiful, and they said no, so we gave them this crap, right. and that could be it. <laughs> so I don't know. There's always two sides to a story, so I'm not gonna. I'm just saying from what I've played, it, it's, it's awful. Um, for the, Why won't this go in? Um, anyway, so – and it also the, doesn't even fit in the box. No, but another thing about this is that they made a sequel. Yes. I don't know if you've seen that. <clears throat> well, first I, up, I, I just want to – I need to just quickly interrupt because I've been reading some of the history. Okay. Um, the game, believe it or not, actually got delayed. Because the developers <laughs> wanted to quote quote unquote oh, continue my goodness. to perfect the graphics and enhance the gameplay that would have been much something. as possible. So meaning without the delay, um, the game would have even been worse than what <laughs> So what I'm oh, just you curious mean they what said the that they were made. So, oh, you're saying that they delayed it, did the fixing, and that this yeah. is what came of it? I right. thought they meant they didn't give them the time and they had to come out no, with no. it. Oh, it's the complete they, opposite. <laughs> we took more time to perfect <laughs> perfection. <laughs> so <laughs> that makes me wonder wow. what game they thought they were making. Right? Like, because here they got to a completion point and they said, you know, now that we've played it, you know what? It's not as good as we <laughs> thought it was going to be. No. We need two more months. <laughs> oh, that's epic. I mean, the design of the characters are alone are uninspired. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, here, here we go. Here's this is a, <laughs> it's playing demo right now. Like, even the demo modes only got the punch and the drop kick. <coughs> I just don't get it. Sentry. 
I, I don't get it, man. And this is fun. I'm reading a quote of a reviewer at the time who said, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, stating that, you know, that the reason why it may have been bad is it's probably because the graphics are so good that the game plays so poorly. Every move the robot makes takes so many frames of animation and <laughs> so much memory and so many months of rendering with, with 3D Studio that it simply wouldn't have been possible to make the gameplay any more complicated than it is. I will direct them to look at Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct was fast, fluid, much better character design, arguably... Do you like Killer Instinct a lot? Like, I know I've seen this. I love of. Killer Instinct. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, I, I really like, may have to play that again because it's like, I remember playing it in the arcade, but I never... I might have had a port on... Was it on Genesis, I think? Or am I well, thinking of Eternal Champions? One at of the, the two. Time, I might the, have. Reason, the reason why Killer Instinct to me, I, like this is actually a good reason why you have me on this particular episode because yeah. this was a huge interest of mine. Silicon yeah. graphics, 3D graphics, and the, for the first time kind of really implementing them into video games yeah. <laughs> was huge for me. So when Killer Instinct came out, you know, you probably were focusing more on gameplay and what, what you thought was a good game. I was really interested in the graphics. So yeah. when I saw Killer Inst rather, when I saw Rise of the Robots, it really, I remember being very excited for that. They had just shown really that main blue robot who turns out is not a robot. Um, but <laughs> yeah, it's a that. human and he dies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me. And then when Killer Instinct came out, looking at the seeing these these fighters that we were used to either being you know 2d street fighter sprites or actors from mortal Kombat, to actually see 3d generated characters was so cool for me like fulgore in particular i loved that was the main like cyborg yeah. guy with the ponytail and the blade arms okay um, and you should it, agree? it was he green? I had like green was, armor or something. No, it, uh, it may be in some place, but it was typically silver. It was like a silver. Okay, I uh, have to really re get, get into that. I have it on my emulator. I might have to pull it off and play it. Yeah, I, I don't even. <clears throat> it's something to consider even on this episode. Maybe just put a little just trailer up of 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 just so here's, like of, so here's so here we go. So here is Killer Instinct above us right here. It'll be it'll be right to here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So yeah, this is wow! Just, that looks great. <laughs> I can I already think it say does. it looks great. I think it, it does. does look great. Um, so, so I'm confused by this reviewer who's saying, you know, it couldn't possibly be that good because yeah, it had too many frames right. of animation stuff. Look at Killer Instinct and tell me that it doesn't. There was have no frame. There was like two frames and not even two frames of animation. It only went boom, boom, mm -hmm. boom, and it, it, it You didn't even see the arm extend. It was like. Like this, or it was like this. It yeah. wasn't. There was. There was no. The the thing is, the animation is subpar at best. It's not, It's like, I would expect to play this. I don't even. I don't even know. On like a Sega Master System or an NES. Like it's. I. It doesn't even seem sixteen bit. Yeah. Well, because again, the 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 characters are so uninspired. So, for instance, yeah. when you have like. 3D graphics, uh, especially at the time, needed different textures to look somewhat real. What I yeah. mean by that is if you just have a blue robot, there isn't much shading in a blue character, right? It's just a blue. So it's like a waste of 3D. You can't really get a feel True. for depth, things like that. If you look at all their designs, it was a green loading machine, a silver military <laughs> Right, he does have quite this abs, though. <laughs> he does. He does does do some working out, though. Um, <laughs> but again, <clears throat> not to keep comparing it, but you look at Killer Instinct and what they did with those models. They're much more colorful. All different. All different shades, flesh tone, different costumes, uh, characters that could transform into other things. Fatal. All this stuff around it. And here you didn't have, you only had two moves and limited graphics. I personally think if I was them, I almost would have preferred that they did a stop motion robot game, if that makes sense. Like to, instead yeah. of having him 3D, 
that they actually made little puppet, you know, robot characters. Maybe yeah. they did something more with the designs, more cyborg -y stuff. And I think I that would have, because they're robots, just, they could look more real as little machines, as little robot machines. And that would have given a more charm than the, the 3D graphic route they were going. But yeah. then not utilizing 3D right. They would just go with a flat color, blue, uh, green, silver, you know, just these flat colors, which doesn't, you don't need 3D for that. It yeah, I agree, man. Color and depth <clears throat> to make it look better. I'm babbling, but. No, did you notice this also has a, M is that an MSRB rating at that point? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The KA, yeah. So, KA, okay, wow. So it's people, an adult, well, I mean, because. Kids to adults won't like this, that's what they're trying <laughs> yeah. to say. <laughs> well, anyways, I, I appreciate you being on here. This is, uh, uh, this was, this is a rough one, man. They, I have to say they've all been pretty rough, the ones I've been <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, PO'd was interesting. Uh, Certainly, yes. Yes. Twisted was amusing. Yes. Um, I'd say I had the most fun with Twisted. I'd like never I, I want to play Twisted now after the, after this. I want to play uh, Twisted with you. I I think that could like be the actual sitting down and playing yeah, it. I, yeah. I think that would have been I think we'd said this. It's probably a much more fair review if we were both yeah. actually playing, maybe with a beer or two. I think we would have had a much better time than the the crap fest that we gave it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I need to go out and search for some more 3DO games. Now, the ones I do have here, I have uh, Phoenix 3 and Gex. Oh, Gex would be fun. And Rage, so, Primal Rage. Primal Rage. Well, the thing about Primal Rage is I was, I was so cool as a kid that I kept the box and sold the jewel case and game. Oh. So I got to <laughs> rebuy it, so I got to find it. But I, I – there was a store that had a couple just game CDs, and if it comes down to it, I'll get that and then look for the manual eventually. But um, so okay. I, I, I still, but Primal Rage for 3DO is, like I said, it's it's amazing. So I wouldn't mind actually getting that and then comparing that to Rise of the Robots, right. just showing like what, what the sad thing was is 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 when another the downfall of 3DO was the giant price tag to eventually it was too late to recover from that. But it was games like this that made people go, oh, my God, this is awful. <laughs> and how you much know? were those games at the time? Do you know? Were they – how much were Oh, they? I bet they were probably like 50, 60 bucks like a normal okay. game would be, yeah. Um, it's maybe a little – I'm sure this went down in price after it didn't sell at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm going to have to look under the – I think it's called Resurrection, the second one or something. I think it's Rise yes. 2, the Resurrex, Resurrection. So I might have to do like a – We'll have to throw up a screenshot of Rise to the Resurrection uh, <laughs> uh, on, on my outro. Yeah, so, Rise 2 was two years later in 1996. Oh, good Lord. Why? Well, it, and, it, and, and it improves on the first game's graphics, rendering, and animation. <laughs> oh, no way. So it's playable <laughs> then, sort of? Yeah. It's sort of playable? <laughs> oh, and it does once again has a theme by Queen's guitarist, Brian May. In <laughs> Which we didn't hear at all. Yeah. At all. There was like a button you could click on to actually hear the Brian May thing, but I don't think nothing played through the whole music, except when he <laughs> ran. I'm going to go beat up some dock workers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to tell you that there's also an, an important announcement that a director's cut was also released. What? Uh, Rise 2, yes. and Because it uh, features two additional hidden characters, Sheep Man and Bunny Rabbit. So, Oh, and it contains a novel, uh, extra music tracks, <laughs> that being more than zero, and, um, <laughs> and the making of the game. Oh, no. <laughs> you can see the developers asleep. Uh, <laughs> they, they just go like this on their keyboard and just whatever goes into the code that's, that's <laughs> generated. Yeah, I, and uh, interesting enough, the sequel got a 5.1 <laughs> out of 10, <laughs> saying that the graphics um, were grossly... Um... <laughs> I was looking at it when you said, is he using a walker? And he looked, yeah. he walks in like he's using yeah, exactly. a walker. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. This is not Starflight hilarious, but this is hilarious. Like, oh, yeah, oh my no, god, what a great game. I, to be honest, t- m- m- tell me if I'm wrong. If you were to get like some of your friends over, grab a couple of beers, whatever, and actually just fight each other in how bad it is, would that be a little fun? Like, maybe if you lose the game, you take a shot. Could you see some fun out of how bad this is, or is it just painful? I, I two players I think would because like the the AI in this except the, the when you get to the no, seventh right. battle, yeah, you get to the seventh battle. Apparently, he's like indestructible, but yeah, I I don't I, I for the two moves each thing has like maybe I no I'd rather play Primal Rage or oh god it did the uh oh. Oh, oh man, I, I, I just don't. I don't like that. I don't <laughs> like that's. Oh, it's still on the screen. I can see it on the monitor. Turn, go away. Uh, what the heck is happening here? We're seeing some of those cinematics. Of... <laughs> oh, he's beating me to a pulp. Why would he do that? Uh, to a to a tech and there's techno music as he's beating me. Yeah. Is he dancing? I don't blame him. I should have left him alone. He was just trying to build stuff. <laughs> Wait, by the way, little news alert. Yeah. Um, that there is a special cheat code for this game that can enable the supervisor as well. So there's a character called the supervisor. Yeah, that's the boss, which I never got to see what was going to happen. Ah, let's see. Should we try the cheat code? Let's see. Supervisor Rise of the Robot. Let's see if he... Because you know, maybe he's just also a sewing machine. Oh, that's that... Okay, that's that silver-looking thing that you showed on the back of the box. Oh. I mean, what do I have to do? Is there anything insane? Let's see. Let me... Since let none me... of the moves work on this anyways. <laughs> yeah, Supervisor Cheat Code. And it's probably only in two-player mode, right? We'll see. Yeah, Which I okay. Want. Play as supervisor in two player and training. So there you go. So no, there's no point to this. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's not gonna be that great to play as the silver crappy rendered robot as opposed to the blue yeah. crappy rendered robot. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> uh okay. Well, let's see. Oh, and let's see, final Okay, although the game boasted May's soundtrack, only, quote-unquote, The Dark appeared in the final release, so only one song, while the actual in-game score was done by Richard Joseph. I'm not sure what that score was. While May did, in fact, record a full soundtrack to the game, it was postponed by his record company, causing Mirage to proceed without May's musical contribution, with the exception of short guitar sounds. So basically, he missed the deadline, and so, so they went, he went above and beyond, <laughs> but did nothing. <laughs> it's the deadline. I bet he's glad he missed the deadline. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. What is this thing? Oh, that's just another cinematic of the uh, high-low. Ugh. All right. Anyways, yeah. Well, we will we will call it here in uh, – I appreciate appreciate you coming on, my friend. And uh, yeah, I, I'd like to do. Um, I don't know if you're interested, but uh, I. Um, well, we'll talk when we, we go off air, but uh, <laughs> off pre-recorded air. <laughs> uh, but anyways, because I got a bunch of shows coming up, and I'd like to maybe do uh, some stuff with some fighting games like Killer Instinct, Primal Rage, Street mm-hmm. Fighter, and stuff like that. But we'll talk. Um, anyways. <laughs> Back to my other self for the outro. Wow. This, this, was, this was tough. Well, there you go. Thank you, other me. That was Rise of the Robots. Let me know what you think of the comments. I'm sure we're already chatting it up. Let me check it out. Oh, yeah, we are chatting it up there. I see you guys. That was completely fake. Anyways, we'll see you next week for, I think, what we're going to try, Dragon's Lair. I am terrible at this game and remember nothing. So we're just going to talk about some of these games that were kind of click uh, direction games like Space Ace and
Dragon's Lair, Brain Dead 13. Well, I actually have Dragon's Lair, so that's the next one we're talking about. So we'll see you next week on 3DO Thursdays. <laughs> Subscribe now. <laughs>